You are listening to the This Life Podcast with Dr. Drew Pinsky and me, Mike Catherwood. That's right. We're doing it this time. So check it out. Thanks for listening. You live. That's right. It is This Life. You hashtag you live. Uh, Mike's in here for Mr. Bob Forrest. Thank you, Mike. Yes. We appreciate it as always. Pleasure to be here. And uh, please do sign up for the email list at drdrew.com, drdrew.com slash contact. You get a weekly email. We've got that whole opioid diatribe in there. We, we chronicle the entire history of opiates and how we got into this mess in this country. And uh, we read as many as we can, and we try to get them on the show. We try to bring them on here so we can discuss them as well. And don't forget to click through on the sponsor banners. We really appreciate it. We've got some very interesting products now. I've got Bergamet with us, as they've been. Hydrolite. These are three products that I can get behind so thoroughly. Hydrolite. I did drunk history last night. Did I tell you this? Uh, no. I will tell you about I did it. see some pictures of you and Mr. Trussell. Yeah, and I was I was playing Mr. Waters. Der- I was the Derek Waters to Duncan Trussell. <laughs> Okay, and it was funny as hell. And uh, but the hydrolyte came in very handy. I'm telling you something; it made a lot of difference. Did you get shit faced? No, but I had to just kind of drink a little bit along with them, and I don't oh. I don't do very well with much of that, so I had to stay hydrated. And um, and our new sponsor, True Niagen, this NAD product, which you said you're interested. in. I'm, I am. NAD is the shiz knit. Yeah, the NAD story is a very interesting. One. This is a very uh, effective way. Did a podcast, a Dr. Drew podcast, with the clinical director, the guy that discovered all this. He's the head of biochemistry at University of Iowa. The guy's the real deal. So he's he's a smart person. Oh my god! And uh, I, was, I was persuaded by what he was saying. Uh, again, Amazon banner, click through on that, and also uh, you'll get discounts, thirty percent off purchase with Drew eighteen at the uh, checkout for I believe Hydrolite, and twenty five percent off with uh, just Drew at the Bergamet checkout. And uh, don't forget the radio show, Midday Live, and all the different podcasts, Adam and Drew, Dr. Drew, and we have the Swole Patrol. The Swole Patrol. Uh-oh, here comes Susan. Yes? Did we, Whoops. Did we forget to mention True Niagen? No, I discussed it, and we've been discussing yeah, it just, here. Just Sorry, throw, wow. Sorry I have wow. ADD. You no. do? You weren't concentrating. You got okay, it. just double-checking. Okay. <laughs> yes, then we do. We, no, so you're, you're just like your husband. <laughs> <laughs> reminds me of years of love line. I, no, I was very different. I wouldn't I wouldn't be listening. I'd be go, oh, a f- falling star. <laughs> you, no, no, we'd have a guest, and I'd say, and uh, your new comedy special is oh, fantastic. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, and it's called blah, blah, blah. I, I particularly like the, the chunk that you go into your childhood. Oh, yeah, no, it's great. Yeah, blah, blah. Dr. Hugo, make sure you mention how she mentions her childhood. <laughs> <laughs> asshole. Our guest is Tom Segura from, well, from everywhere. But uh, thank you for coming, Tom. Yeah. From your mom's house, mother yeah. effer. Yeah, yeah I to, I'm going to give all the Thanks specifics. For having me, man. This is really fun. Uh, your mom's house, was, which is my very favorite, not just podcast, my very favorite favorite way to spend an afternoon or evening or whenever I got to do it. Thanks, man. Yeah, and of course he does it with Christina. So how did you guys meet, Christina P. and you? We met uh, doing stand-up. We met on the uh, Sunset Strip about, oh my God, 16 years ago. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, you we may were... be the healthiest people who have met on the Sunset Strip. I know, man. <laughs> At the Cat Club. Oh. Uh, they were, you know, we were open micers, and she was smoking cigarettes, <laughs> wearing fishnets, and I was like, what's up? Yeah. yeah. Was she doing the goth thing <laughs> that she was into? She yeah, was? Yeah, pretty. She had like the knee high boots on. I was like, this chick bangs. So <laughs> this went. And now she's a mom of two. Soon to be two. Yeah. Yes. Almost two. When's that coming? Uh, we're within five weeks now. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. That's, That's when you re- enter real parenting. Right? Yeah. Once it's more than one. Well, the, the, uh, pre- what are you what? saying to me? That I, yeah, I told you parent. the same thing. I told you you need to have another. Then you really are into it. It's it's a different experience. Well, you have one? I have one. Yeah. How old? Four. Oh, okay. Just You're a little person. That's cool. Yeah. But dr- according to Drew, I'm not a real parent because I, I don't have it. two. The singlet parents, we got, <laughs> come on. Can't well, just because you pumped parents. out three at once. I did not. She did. <laughs> yeah, well. And let's yeah. give her the full credit. That's three. insane. Three is crazy, man. Three, right. three at once is fucking crazy. I don't know how they're still here, these two. Oh, I'm sure there was years where you didn't think you'd make it. Like we, you must we were have in gone full survival mode. Yeah, full survival mm-hmm. mode for like eight years, right? Mm-hmm. And when you think about it now, we just got to get a little PTSD or shit about R- it. For real, yeah, right? yeah. And Don't then you? When did it start to calm down? When they're in, you're like- five, really. If, yeah, when they were five, some benefits started coming in, and then around when would you say eleven or so? When they were able to like reason, got easier. I, I forget, 11? like I, I forget, yeah. like age shit. I know, I sort six of, to nine because it was so easy. Oh, you know? it was easy then. Because I wasn't traumatized at that point. Okay, so you're wrong. You, you imagine how much worse it could have been if even just one of your kids was a shithead. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like if you had that. one me of That's your triplets. That's because of me. Yes. Yeah? We had Susan. You no, have a, yeah. By the way, you got a lot of plugs from him about your partner here. 
Has been, I have? Yeah, he's been talking you up, man. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Drew. That's right. I mean, it's not all glowing, but No, he, I know. I'm sure you. I'm sure it's not all good. <laughs> yeah. Believe me, I know it's not all good. Yeah. But, uh, well, in return, yeah. I have to say, your wife yeah. is Dr. Drew's only female crush. Because okay. normally he only talks to me about dudes. He's like, oh, well, I really love that yeah. guy. He's unbelievable. He will not talk about... He loves himself some Christina Pazitsky. I think she's a great talent. She is. Yeah, she's great. Mike, I don't think you understand just how smart this woman is. (laughs) Mike, I don't think you understand. What's weird is I don't remember repeating myself. I remember telling you that, but I don't remember repeating myself. Well, do you understand? She studied philosophy. (laughs) Do you, understand? Do you know that that's basically how my father talks to me? <laughs> he's like, she's way smarter than you, buddy. I'm like, all right. And then he's that's like, the way to go, though. Yeah. I mean, get get a woman that is just better than you in every way. Yeah, it helps. Just right. ride it into the L- sunset. Let me do some more Tom Segura stuff. It's sure. at Tom Segura, S-E-G-U-R-A, TomSegura.com. You see your mom's house there with him and Christina. Netflix special, completely normal and mostly... Wait, wait, wait. Completely normal and mostly stories. And yes. Disgraceful just came out. Yeah, And the dis- recent Disgraceful, yes. Yeah. Um, and more coming too, right? Or she's... Um, I'm going on a tour. Christina just shot another yeah. Netflix thing, uh, a special last week. That'll be out probably in the early fall, September, October. Yeah. And uh, your mom's house. I can't not recommend. And, and she uh, has another one out there called Mother Inferior. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Um, so That's a great name. A, an associate of yours suggested I bring up the risks of obesity. Mm-hmm. And uh, the problems associated with obesity. An, as- an associate? Yes. An acquaintance. Acquaintance of yours. Uh-huh. He said something about... I didn't quite know what he Did was getting Did his name at. rhyme with Squirt Kreischer? <laughs> might have. Might have been him. Okay. Yeah. Might have been him. Yeah, he's in a bad place. He's very overweight right now. He's like <laughs> uh, eating a lot, drinking a lot. It's so, for real. Yeah, it's, it's a problem. He, he actually texted me yes- t- yesterday and said, like, do you have any a lead on a trainer? Like, I'm really... You know, oh, that's gonna stop really the, the eating and drinking. Yeah, that's gonna stop it. He's huh. really because I it used to be everyone would knows that he's the party animal. And yeah, he, he drinks a lot, but I think the food's really getting out of control, and it doesn't look good. Like when you look at him, it does. It's really it's scary. Yeah, it's and easy. he and the, the <laughs> drinking, he always swore he could control it. Do we have a yeah. phone line, by the way? Can we get phone calls in here? Yes. Okay. Well, uh, but I do believe he can control it. It takes the one, no one. Yeah, I Bert's not. He's a binge alcoholic, so that yeah. they have the illusion of control. Yeah. The, it's the illusion of control, right? I mean, he, it's the illusion. I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, he. It's well, not like you. You're the real deal. No, but I also think that like you're the real deal, as in you're an alcoholic. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I, I'm in. I'm in recovery, but oh, yeah, okay, I, okay. I would like drink for breakfast. You know, I was. Really? He's, he's fun, real dude. deal. Yeah. Real yeah. deal. Um, but that's Tom's in, Tom's intrigued. Ooh, really? <laughs> no, <laughs> I think it's just one of those things when you. I mean, it sounds bad. It's like you're fascinated by like, wow, you really do that. You know what I mean? Sure. Like when you go. Somebody's like, yeah, I drink a bottle of gin a day. And you're like, what? Yeah. Really? How? How do you get? How do you do I know, it? I can't do that. I know. It 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 progresses slowly. Yeah. It and honestly, it sounds so cliche, but it happens before you know it. Yeah. It's just one of those things. You're defensive, defensive, defensive. Well, that's not me. I'm just I'm just young and partying. I'm I'm that age. That's what you do. And the next thing you know, you're like, wow, I I drink all day. Well, I really I do. Wake up. How long have you been in recovery? 17 years. Wow, congratulations. Thanks, he's, man. he's doing what's called, I call, full recovery. Like, he has done his recovery program completely, thoroughly, and now is, like, working everything else. Like, yeah. every other mental health issue, trauma, whatever it might be, he's looking for real recovery, full recovery. I'm even trying not to beat off, and that's not a joke. You Are really? Are you it's, doing yeah. an essay program or something? No, but I've really tried to get a handle on that because I realize that that's the only... Yeah, I drink a pot of coffee every hour, but okay, I'll I'll grant myself that. Yes, I'm a caffeine addict. I'll yeah. give, but I realize that like I'm a happily married man who has a very happy, healthy sex life, but I make it unhealthy. Mm-hmm. I By make it unhealthy. Too much? Masturbating and then also trying to live out my own porn movie instead of just developing intimacy with my wife. I'm uh-huh. trying to constantly be this gross disgusting sexual figure and and i wasn't i wasn't doing it for the right reasons you know how does she handle it when you're being this guy gross gross and disgusting yeah well my wife's because tom has tom has a friend my wife's perpetually (laughs) grossed out by me i mean she really is always grossed out by me but on top of that i do think that she respects me in that she knows i'm trying Uh uh-huh she knows like i'll get out of control and she and i'm aware of it and that I'm not happy about it. I'm not some guy who's like, oh, I'm coming to your face. Ah, I'm a man. I'm a real, yeah. you know, I go, yeah, oh, yeah. God, I'm a disgrace. I need to work on this, you know. Okay. So does she play along when you're a gross porn guy, though, or no? Or, like, reluctantly? 
Re- she does reluctantly, and then I'll recognize that it's reluctant. Oh, and then and then the, I then get turned like, off. Yeah, and I go, yeah. oh, "What am I doing?" Yeah, sounds familiar. <laughs> Um, but well, you, you asked, you, you opened your mom's house that I was on with a pretty gross action. What uh, was you gross? were going to sit over your wife's face, as I recall. Oh, yeah, but that's not that gross, is it? <laughs> <laughs> that's what a lot of married couples do that stuff. Sure. A lot of people do. It, it was do. the squat. She's eight, sit. eight months pregnant. <laughs> Susan never squatted on you? No, no, he was going to do it to her. Okay, vice versa. No, it's not common practice in the Pinsky household? Not common. No. Okay. Not that common. What do you mean? Oh, she can't figure it out. She's like, <laughs> How can Bert dial back to food? What are we going to do? Well, let's ask him. Where is Bert? Can Bert's, we get, can we what get we're saying is Bert's fat. Well, I you, get that. Did you send him the phone number I sent you on your phone? Mm, yeah. You did? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, he was doing stand-up when we started. I know. I called him when he was on stage. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's in uh, Florida. Birmingham. Well, Birmingham. You're very lucky yeah. he didn't go, hey, everybody, mm-hmm. listen to this. Oh, Dr. he did. Drew's on the of phone. Of course he did. <laughs> no, he did. <laughs> That's what he's doing. And everybody's like, ah! And he goes, hold on a second. Keeps the conversation going. My side hurts. I'm fat. <laughs> so, is this the right number that I sent him? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, I'm gonna, so it's up to him now. All, all joking aside, while we wait for Fat Bert to call. Um, <laughs> oh God, uh, that's accurate. It, it, it's it's got to be at times you and you're listening, just listening to your mom's house. It feel it feels like your wife and you uh, um, have a very very good relationship, and that you manage having two comics in a relationship very well. But I would imagine at at times though, it's still it's still two comics. I mean, is there that problem, that that ego, that competitive nature? Does it ever bubble over? I don't think so, really. I really don't think so, just because I don't think it was ever really there like that. You yeah. know, I've yeah. seen them watch each other work. It's a rare thing. To, yeah, to, and, and they like are ex, they're like ex, so excited for the performer. I can see it on you guys right. when, when the other person's yeah. up. You guys get excited for the other for the. Well, I remember hanging out with another comedy couple one time, and the guy was like, "Doesn't it kill you?" When she gets something, no, oh. and you don't, and I was like, no, hey. no, I don't see. But then at all. when he, you know, I was like, does it to you? He's like, oh yeah, absolutely. Oh jeez. And I was like, yeah, that. I mean, it, it, I wasn't saying it to be like I just have a healthier thing than you. <laughs> yeah. I just was like, nah, man, it just doesn't, doesn't, you know, doesn't strike me as something to, to it doesn't process in my head. How did you start your mom's house? Uh, Rogan was the one who he, I'd been on his podcast a few times. And it, this was like not where it is now, where his is like a juggernaut. Yeah, it was early on. This is early on, and he was like, "You should do a podcast." He was trying, really encouraging to do it, and I was like, "I had no interest in doing it." And then he met Christina, and he was like, "Oh my god, you, like you could do, do it together. with your wife. Why yeah. don't you just do it?" And I was like, "I don't know, man." And then I told her, she was like, "Okay." It was it was kind of reluctantly to like, like no one's listening to this. Why are we doing this? You know? And then. The first time I realized people were listening was I attacked one of my college roommates. Like, I, I told people, hey, tweet him this. <laughs> and I thought, you know, like eight people would do it. Sure. And that'd be my laugh. He was like, I shut down my Twitter account today. Oh, that's so and I saw, awesome. And I started to scroll. I was like, oh, my God, there's like hundreds of messages. And I was like, oh, this is fun. Yeah. Like, this is a... This is something to really <laughs> to could, screw with people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, but I was like, this is exciting, and and it just it built from there. It's eight years now, you know. Wow, yeah. I didn't know it's been that long. Yeah. Well, I we st- I still want some of the merch. I can. I, I had them ship you a, a okay, gift bag. Fantastic. Yeah. I'm gonna. I was wearing the just glass and one around and. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. No, I sent you. I sent you a swag bag. Oh, so excited! Yeah, I got some Susan. I got you some stuff too. Oh, that's fantastic! You, yeah, I this hope you sent Drew extra small because that's how he likes it. He likes oh, it like uh, yeah. his Breaking skin tight, Ed Hardy. Show yeah, the guns yeah. off, of course. <laughs> so, so you know, a big feature of your mom's house is uh, videos and pictures and things. Mm-hmm. So, Mike and I thought we'd share some things with you. Okay, sure. I'd love. Yeah. I'd love it. So we start with Nicole and Jemmy's material. Yes. Yeah, we N- can show that. Do you know who Nicole yeah. and Jemmy is? Um, no, I don't she's think so. a pathology tech. She teaches pathology specimens, and um, she has a, one of the most popular Instagrams in the world. It's Nicole, Nicole Understand Geller and Jemmy. We interview her on this one, this podcast a few times. I'm yeah, sure. yeah, she's yeah, been on one. every podcast. Yeah. One of the most popular Instagrams in the world. Yes, she, they keep shutting her down, Why? and then she comes back with two million like within a few weeks. Wow! Uh, and she puts up pathology spec- specimens and has you know mystery diagnoses and and people report it because they think it's gross. There is gross material in her okay. material, and she's supposed, you know one of her great sources of delight is things that people put up there behind that comes to the path lab. She right. has you know, everything. So this is the first specimen. 
What do we have there? This is what I'm looking at here. The screen. Yeah. This looks like pizza. Yeah. Can can we scan back a little bit from that? Are we supposed to guess what this is, Susan? Sure. Or is she going to tell? Maybe sure. get Nicole, get Nicole you, on the line. You know what it is. No, is it a she's, placenta? She's too busy for us now. Is it a placenta? You I know just, I ate placenta. I know you did. It's yeah. gross. Did you, no, you eat placenta? Did it look like that? No, it looked like a meat frisbee. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't see the whole anatomy. I just see I know. Something. It's a close-up for some reason. Is that peanut butter? <laughs> you guys are fucking around with this bullshit. All right. You want me to? All right. What is it? All right. Show Tom it's, this. It's 10 pounds of fat. Okay. Show, Speaking show, of fat. Show, Tom's, it's just fat. It's just, I'm, I'm not going to have it shown on video. I just want Mr. Segura to well, yeah. hand this over we're, to Tom. We're, we're, this we'll is work our that, way up. No, 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 no. This is this is a sporadic, a sort of sprinkling okay. of, of Mike's okay, material. But, okay. Well, He's got a lot. Everybody's digesting that fat. Okay. okay. This is Mike's mind. No, okay. no, that's. No. Oh yeah, <laughs> I've seen this. Yeah, <laughs> solid, yeah. right? Yeah, that's wild, man. I mean, just the whole everything about that. <laughs> the person with the bowl in them. The, the person eating, eating person person that is the bowl. I don't want to look at it. I can't do it. You don't want to see this. The speculum. No, that's a speculum, I get, right? I get yeah. stuff from him all the time. That is absolutely insane. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember. Well, yeah, this is why you're crazy porno guy, for sure. <laughs> 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 yeah. We just call that one Fruit Loops. All right, yeah. let's keep going. Next, uh, I'm from Nicole. Oh, what do we got here? Uh, what, what do we got here? That is, a, uh, that is a mummified dick. I think it's no. necrotic hands. Necrotic what? hands? Are they what? hands that are black it's a and, death and metal gangrenous? Band. That's hands? someone's hands? I don't know. It make, could a, be. make a guess at it. Wait, Tom. you don't know? <laughs> That's for, this is for Tom again. Another one? Oh, he's got... I have my whole phone. He's going to... Yeah. Eventually, it will start well, to turn Well, we're going to go in between. <laughs> and, Wait, what are we looking at? Okay. I, I don't know what this Susan... is. This is, these are genital warts. Oh. Okay, oh! okay genital That's warts. been removed They right got there? that yeah. bad? Yeah. I guess so. Wait, do they grow like that? Yeah, yeah. They get pretty crazy. Do, wait, genital warts turn to charcoal? Well, they don't... They, I, 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 I need, we need the dime for scale, Mike, to see exactly oh where we're looking at Oh, my God. Here. Okay, keep isn't going. That lovely? Next. Can that Isn't that crazy? You can get that <gasps> just from... Uh-oh. What's that? Guess uh, what that is. Is that a testicle? <gasps> ding, 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 oh, it's a testicle. Well, he's a doctor. It's no fun. That's what a testicle. The fuck? That's really <laughs> gross, huh? Okay, one more. One more. <laughs> That's a testicle. <laughs> And next is oh, oh, this is good. Oh, let's see that. Tom, take a good look at that. Yeah. Take, guess are we where, looking at guess where those lizards? insects? Lizards. Those are lizards. Yes. Guess where they've been? In and an someone's asshole. asshole? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Nice. Mm -hmm. Like a chill dude. Mm -hmm. That needs a to be <laughs> a... <laughs> someone who likes to party. Yeah. <laughs> That needs he to put your pot, lizards right? in his ass. Yeah. Apparently, they pulled them out, and that's that's the uh, pathology This is what specimens. what she posts on her page. Oh yeah. She gets that, that's, pictures. That's stuff too. that we can put on Facebook, right? What? Uh, that's the stuff we can So wait, what is she? She's a pathologist? She's a pathology tech, and she likes to teach. And her, her sort of, she's tatted up all over, and she's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, Put whoa, a whoa, picture whoa. of her. Go back to that stuff. What? Go back to that stuff. Yeah, that's what, what we want to see. Uh-oh, what do we got? No, uh, no, that's the real deal. Okay, That's well, the stuff I sent. Okay, hold on. Okay. <laughs> anyway, she's interested in medical education. She thinks it's silly that it's all hidden from view, and people should see these pathologies and how they work and how the body works. And uh, she's very committed to that. Oh, here's so What are we looking at? That's... Okay, you can look at it, but we're not going to show the audience. No, no, no. That's an inside-out asshole. That's a no. rose. That's a rose. Oh. Yes, it is. I think it's a is that prolapse? No, that's, that's a prolapse. That's actually a vagina, isn't it? It could be a vaginal prolapse. I think, oh. I think Susan's right. She, I don't know why well, that's worse. she told me. Yeah, I don't know I think, why that's worse. I think that's a vaginal but it, prolapse. they prolapse. And that's actually a cervix you're looking at there. Oh. That's her uterus down and the cervix. Tom's, oh, used, really? to, Tom's used to poking holes in them, not seeing them. This, I wow. believe, is a. This, I think, is a. Rectal, That's an rectal, ass. Rectal, rectal <laughs> collapse. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen um, a lady who worked too much on movies. <laughs> on movies. Yeah. Mike has a whole a phone full of them. And they and then. Would like, you like her, her sleeve popped? Would you like. You know? I, Okay, Mike has <laughs> like Mike a, is like, like a, a cauliflowered ear. We uh, just got <laughs> it was like, and she was like, "This happens." Like she was so <laughs> in control. Of the job. Why did you show me that one? Uh, you want me to show it to you? <laughs> Not right now. I mean, when okay. I was on your next time I'm on your podcast, we can't. Well, the thing is, we we used to play some wild like yeah. stuff like that, yeah. and um, it gets flagged. Like we can't YouTube. I see. So I mean, I can still I can still show it to you. I used to have to have my editor. Blurred. You don't. You don't need to. I, I like I, that. Doctor Drew was like, "Why don't you show me that?" Shit? No, because yeah. I'm more interested in the woman's reaction, not the actual. She was anatomy. real in control. Yeah, uh, they talked about uh, having because, sex with handicapped yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, you know, she's got to be of service. She's a different word. Be yeah. of service. Yeah. Now, 
Oh my God! Is that a, that's a severed penis? Come no, on, no, man. that's that's a circumcision. Adult what? Circumcision. Adult circumcision. Yeah. What that's, do you mean? That that skin lying there in front of the penis <gasps> is what was taken that's off. A, that seems like a, a that seems is that like a botched a, circumcision? No, no, that's done now. Just finished. Newly newly minted the circumcision. The penis is draped. There's a man under oh, there. It's, oh, it's not a severed. Penis. That's a hefty. That's a hefty dong. We can't really yeah. show it. Um, but Mike has taken that material that you were describing with the lady with the prolapse mm -hmm. to a crazy place. Like, I, what's the crazy place? I didn't place? take it there. I just disco I mean, I go there. I, I, I certainly place. didn't take what it there. What is the crazy place? It's just there's like prolapse porn where they do it on purpose and then the ladies like rub it together and. Oh, like, no. Wait, wait, wait. And what? And do what? If we'd say this on. I can't even say this on Facebook, right? Sure. That's all right. Nobody's watching Facebook. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> a a blurred blank, blanket out. Me. Can we? Can we? Can you? Can you what, mute me they, for a second? No, no they, it's they fine. Lick Don't it. worry. They lick it and they eat it. And no, they, dude. Yeah, that's a no, no. I agree. You're into this? No. You know what I am into? I one time, Susan made the mistake of telling me that she was at the house, and Drew was in another part of the house, and she just hears. Oh! <laughs> no, no, no. It was, I heard her screaming. Either or. I heard her Either screaming or. from way to the other end of the house. And that made me very happy because I'll send them these pictures. And I know. Oh, you texted her? Yeah. I know that on the other end, it's like the you horror. You send this to poor Susan? No, but, the, but this I was, do. that wasn't what, that wasn't what <laughs> it was. was sending me the, like, hot black guys with the big penises, uh -huh. which yeah. is okay. Which is okay? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> No wonder you went to Vegas. All right. <laughs> okay. But I don't like the ones that he sends Drew. They're kind of gross. I actually have one in my closet. Susan, isn't right there now. too big, though? Probably. I would Probably. never. Probably. I would never. From know. the photos, don't you go, that's too much? Yeah. Yes. Well, now that Susan's been augured out by the mighty Pinsky dong, nothing's yeah, too big. True. I mean, Drew. That is true. You got to understand. Triplets, so. What happened Drew, to this podcast? Drew what is packing serious meat. Why don't we yeah. show, show, oh, show Tom what you I got to that. Yeah. Show the yeah. pictures. Well, I, li I like the most recent one that you sent me, Mike. Mike, do you you fap to the to the prolapse stuff? No. Okay. No. No. I, I that's strictly for sending to Drew and it's just and like a, shock reaction. It's it's all shock value. Yeah, I mean yeah, yeah. that that just touches some wildly immature part of me where I know yeah. people don't like it and I'm going to do that. Yeah, I sometimes text people pictures of like Hitler smiling and laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather get those. Yeah. He sent know. this one to me. It was this guy, and he was very oh, I can large find it. and not I can circumcised. Find it. Don't worry. Uh -huh. Yeah, I can't find the picture. I don't know why. I must have erased it. And he had right above his member, he wrote bar. B A R? Yeah, it's like. <laughs> Susan, don't say it. Is that him? Mike Knight was right Come where to look to find him. What the? Seriously? <laughs> That's me. I mean, who look how does tortured that? this guy is. Yeah, I mean, he's struggling. I know. His eyebrows and then why, are tatted. He a, he his must fucking have had face a bad is tattoo tatted. On his, one of his chest. That is a healthy piece of equipment, though. <laughs> I know. You know that guy? I don't. Oh. I don't. I asked I, him the same thing. <laughs> someone, <laughs> uh, someone actually that? sent me this in a DM. Like I think, this, like this guy actually sent me. This. He <laughs> said that guy sent him? you something. Well, I got. I just got this with, uh, with the, uh, and I. The word fuck and question mark. That guy did. Yeah. He asked you to fuck. I'm guessing no, it's him. No, he's just like. Because the, pri the, the no. account, the, oh, the, really? the Instagram account that was attached to it was yeah. was private. Okay. And it, and it had a picture of like a group of people in it in the profile. Yeah. The a profile avatar. So, uh, but I'm assuming. And it was. Wait, this, why do you assume it was definitely him though? Well, because it was just this pic and it had the oh. word, had the word. Fuck and question mark. Yeah, that dude so, would prolapse. He's oh, gay, yes. right? Yeah, that's what I, it looks like, dude. Yeah. That yeah. guy, that guy yeah. would turn me inside yeah. out in a heart. Oh, What's yeah. this all about? <laughs> that's um, that's just a, the nice uh, German snow cone. Oh God! Here, show that. To See, this is, is about this is about Mike's mental health today. Oof. <laughs> Yeah. Is that the German version of I hate this? That was Oof. ready to go, too. She was holding on to that. Yeah, she was crowning. She yeah. was crowning. Okay, nobody knows what you're Oof. talking about. It's good. I, mean, I like that. Well, it was a nice, I'm assuming, Brazilian girl who uh, just made a, made a boom boom in a cup. 
<laughs> Jesus. That is, it brings Tom to light. Ma- yeah. Mike, maybe Tom ought to get on your text uh, radar. Ah, I Tom gets the light he seems like such this. a nice man. He is a nice man. I'm a nice man, too. And they you, need to have a first bom- date first. You bombard You're me You're a with nice this man, stuff. but you've, you bring me so much grief I with do? your Drewness that I, I feel like this is my job to... <laughs> How did Drew? Okay, I mean, we your your fascination with Christina's long and story, yeah. But uh, not that I, I'm I'm a fan myself, and I get it. But where did your love affair with Tom Segura come um, come to fruition? My sons, I think, got way into Tom, uh-huh. and they're like, "You got to see this special. It's so funny. It's so funny." And we watched him, and I think it was around the time we had dinner. But I knew you from back somewhere. I, I kept from know. Bird, I think, from Bird. Really? Yeah, something. Oh, because he did Love Line with you a few yeah. times. But I'd never met you until... I feel like I did or something. Really? But anyway, but anyway, so I, he kind of naturally came along. Yeah. Yeah. What? And then uh, how many trips to your mom's house has it been? Is it been two. two for you? Two. Oh, no, they're already... They are... They are begging for, they're like is this will this be regularly will this be monthly <laughs> two <reportedly?"> solid <laughs> trips yeah. two solid no trips. it's they're like considered fun. home runs man people love them <laughs> next time i come with all my swag on from the show oh yeah yeah oh, oh they're much. gonna go crazy and we yeah. gotta get this one in a little bit oh too. Yeah. yeah yeah you gotta weigh in on stuff oh i get to do it too yeah 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 so you get a, you get a whole different drew when susan's around yeah yeah really whole, yeah oh yeah what's the well tell me the difference yeah, what's the difference explain well because 14 year old oh Mike, mike's long mike, long yeah. hair bro drew doesn't come out mike's able to bring that out because wifey's around so but i don't drew, do that i don't do that so it just, it just remains it just remains you know very refined you know kind of hoity-toity drew when wife's around when wife's around yeah okay but when it's just solo drew then you can break out like van halen fan drew uh, <laughs> yeah. mike has the ability to literally make me regress to 14, 15. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, I, we, you've I ever be, seen I it? I believe it. I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't even know what's happening. It's like being but hypnotized. But don't you kind of love that? Yeah, it's fun. It has a certain yeah. kind of uh, gleefulness associated with it. And then you go, what the hell am I doing? What is this? Isn't it interesting the way, I think about this sometimes, how you are who you are, Yeah. but with different people, you're kind of a different version of yourself. And you have different relationships. In other yeah. words, even with a circle of friends, you can have four friends, and you are someone, and they are someone to you that you're not to the other people in the group. Yeah, you know, it's like you—it's sort of parts of self that you parse parts out. Parts of self, yeah. 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 It's almost like out. maybe with this person you're like almost the big brother. With this person, yeah. you're, you know, what I mean, you're I didn't know I could person. be a fourteen-year-old adult right. until Mike came along. Mike brought that out of you. <laughs> yes, you're, you're, you know, your sons don't even like doing it. They don't like going back. Yeah, I don't play. They them. don't want to go to Broville. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Because like I'll hang out with Drew's sons, and they they they're like, nah, they're reluctant. To, I'll to try to like bring to be like like I'll try to, I'll try to bring them into juvenile town, and they <laughs> they, they 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 avoid it. They 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 push back. There's friction. There's they're more serious boys. Yeah, yeah. One of them wants to meet you. He's coming by after towards the end. Oh, so. okay. Is he coming by? Right. He said he was. I hope so. Uh, so uh, let's talk a little more about mental health and addiction. Stuff. Absolutely. As long as, long as we've talked yeah. about parts of self and Absolutely. who we Can are. Can we take a break first? All right, let's do that. Do you want to take just a little break? And uh, we'll be right back. I want to welcome True Niagen to the show. True Niagen is a dietary supplement designed to boost a key cellular resource called NAD, also called nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. A lot of research being done on NAD, and while the science is still preliminary, I've been watching these studies for a while and I've been really impressed. It's so exciting because these studies are showing that the increased NAD levels may potentially help with cellular metabolism, regulating circadian rhythm. And they've even hoped that this may someday slow the effects of aging. Now, while these studies are very early, the science is impressive and the biohacking community has gotten behind this research. I've been intrigued by the possibilities surrounding NAD and the research behind True Niagen. Check it out. The research is there. The literature is quite good. Check out the website for yourself. And I even had the chance before I brought these guys on board to speak with the company's chief scientific advisor. In fact, I put myself on True Niagen after speaking to Dr. Charles Brenner. Great discussion, piqued my interest further. I'm still watching this literature. Look for that interview on the Dr. Drew podcast in June. Now to learn more about the research, science, and the True Niagen supplements, visit trueniagen.com. That is T-R-U-N-I-A-G-E-N, trueniagen.com. Go there today.
Yeah, it's the Swole Patrol, the best podcast about fitness and being super buff. Mark Bell is our guest, and he's super jacky. Bench presses more than you, I can guarantee. Our guest today is James Preston Rogers. He has three names because he's fucking huge. Talking to Vinny Tordorick once again. He has a documentary about fat, and you will eat fat, but you will all veiny and all swole And our guest is Chrissy McHagney She is awesome Guest is Steve Tim And he is super buff And he trains celebrities And Olympians So he knows what he's talking about We have our first female guest And she's awesome It's not because of me too Or if the time's up It's because she kicks ass And she knows a lot She is Natalie Jill at Natalie Jill Fitness dot com at Natalie Jill Fit on Instagram and Twitter. I think that's not on here, but we'll go with it now. We're talking to a girl with a big ass, and she made it the proper way. She had negative ass. I can't believe it. Now I go on Instagram and look at Abby's ass, and I have to go be by myself so my wife doesn't see me masturbate to pictures of her ass and her thighs. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> that was amazing. Hi, that was thank a you. really good song. Good yes. freestyle. I no, 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 ah, it's enough. fantastic. It is fantastic. Well, mention the uh, the devil. Bert Kreischer, everybody. Oh. Bert. Oh wait. We I can't hear him. Hold Uh-oh. on a second, buddy. He hears me. I don't see him. Uh oh. How do we tap him in? Let me get this. Wait, I can take my headphone part off and hear him that way. Hey Bert. Yeah, wait. but the audience can't. He's oh. on your phone? What's he up? Yeah, what's it? Bert, say hi again. We're not done All right, hold on, buddy. Hang on a second. We're gonna keep talking to your friend Tom Screw. Hang on one second. We. Uh, you said you were gonna talk about mental health and stuff. Yes, I did say yeah, that. Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, tell. Let's talk about four stroke. Well, it's just. I think it's amazing that Bert's not eating and has time to do this. So I think we should give him <laughs> some respect. He is drinking though. Oh. <laughs> Bert, are you there? He just hung up. Oh, okay. he hung up. Oh. So uh, people on Facebook were mentioning four stroke. Yeah, that was um, um, a, from in reference to a video. The Four Stroke Gang is, is is now it's like a it's saying that you're part of a brotherhood. But <laughs> there was a man who had some erectile dysfunction yes. problems. A meth and addict. He found a wonderful solution that Did you mine? that oh, some yeah. people you know should try. Maybe I don't know. You're the doctor, which is to smoke meth. Um, this man uh, this is how he overcame his problem. Sure. He ever, and he said it and really his, got and much his brother harder. too or something. Well, his brother didn't believe him. Oh. <laughs> but then when he um, he smoked with his brother, his brother he couldn't believe how big his brother's dick was, and <laughs> his brother came in four strokes, and then the four stroke gang was born. And then uh, the right now, right now, right now, or right now, right now, right now, right now. That guy. was another probably drug addict, possibly, oh, possibly, <laughs> or in some sort of manic state. Yeah, I mean. A cool guy. No, oh, no, no, I would love to spend time with him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I take forever to come when I smoke meth. Do you? So, that's usual. That's more normal. Yeah. Did, you, did you smoke it? I back did. In the day? I was a big fan. Really? I was a big fan. Let, of I'm going to put Bert on my speakerphone. Oh, really? It, yeah, why not? Okay. So we'll just do it this way. Okay. Just do it on my, don't worry about it. I'm just going to do them right here on the. I was setting up Zoom. Yeah. Okay. I don't have to worry about it. Come on, Bert. <laughs> He's not going to be able to hear. Hello. Hey, Bert, I got you on speaker. You're on the mic on speaker. It's good, right? Good quality. Hello. How are you, man? I'm fantastic. Uh, let's talk about why Tommy can't accept a compliment. Which compliment was that? I gave him the best compliment ever on Hot Ones that he did earlier this afternoon. He was like, sorry, I just had this shit all over you. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> here's it. Yeah. So, so hold on. No, here's exactly what happened. I'm doing hot ones, yeah. and Sean said, um, "Hey, he goes, hey, I have a message from Bert." And at first, he he reads this like slam, which I'm expecting, of course, from Bert. Of he's like, I don't know why anybody likes him. He's not. He doesn't say anything interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you, you said that, or yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah true. It's 100 accurate. I don't know why anyone likes him. He doesn't say anything. <laughs> He's a bump on a fucking log. Like, like, shit, I know why I like him, but I can't understand why 
Big Daddy Kane, Russell Peters, Mike Tyson, Joe Rose. I can't understand why people like this guy. There you go. My so, whole life. Why anybody likes Tom Segura? So he, he, yeah, like, I know why I like him, <laughs> but I can't understand why anyone else does. So what? my question really was, how do you make friends? Because he makes friends, but he is not interesting. <laughs> okay. Well, it begs the issue, why do you like him then? Go ahead, Tommy. Well, Bert, I mean, according to Sean, said this really, really sweet, um, I mean, I can't, I don't know how to repeat it, you know, just a very... Heartfelt. Heartfelt thing. Um, about you. About me. Bert said this. This is what... Well, he was wasted. What do you expect? I don't know. He re Sean read it, you know? <laughs> and um, I was actually very touched by it. So why why do, do you like Tom, Bert? Why do I like Tom? Yeah. Why do you hang out with him? You said you understand you know, why it's you... So it's, so, it's so funny. I, one time... And by the way, I'm going to shit on AJ Hunt only because he's not in the pros anymore. So if he's retired, I don't care anymore. But like... <laughs> AJ Hawk asked, uh, has a podcast called The Hawkcast, and he asked Tom, he goes, how can you be friends with Bert? <laughs> and it, it hurt my feelings. It really hurt my feelings. So I was like, wait, what's wrong with me? Like, why is, why is it that so hard to figure out? And Tom was like, you know, I don't mind it. I like it. Like, it's fun to be around him because he's a big personality. And if you just go with the ride, you have a really good time. And, and so it's so funny because at that moment I went, yeah, why am I friends with Tom? We're very different men. Very different men. Tom will tell you this, a hundred percent. I'm very needy. I'm very, uh, I'm very open. I overshare. Like I'm a, I'm a mess. You're right. What I like, what I like about Tom, is that, in in short, he's an accelerant for life. Like he likes to be around moments, and he doesn't steal sunshine. He likes to enjoy sunshine. So if you start having a good time, he fans the moment. So that, like Johnny Carson, and he just wants to laugh and have a good time. Right, he doesn't good. care. He doesn't care to steal the moment, which I do. I want to be the fire. I want everyone to go. I had the greatest time with Bert Kreischer. Tom just goes. I'm gonna shit. I just want a good time. So now and it's it's now it's, it's time, now it's time for Tom to shit on you. Hold on a second. No, yeah, go ahead, Tom. No, no, no. So first of all, I see. I think that's very nice. Yeah. And, and what Sean read was like basically a version of that. Yeah. And I, as a joke, Drew said. And this is on the show. And I'm, by the way, I've just eaten, like, whatever, like, fire god hot sauce or whatever it's yes. called. And then he's like, well, how do you feel about that? And I was like, wow, it's really nice. I still don't like him, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but, yeah, but, but Bert knows me and knows my sense of humor. He yeah. knows that I'm joking. I yeah. think, you know, I think... I think the world of Bert, and I think everything he said is is well, accurate. Well, now we're worried about you drinking again, and you're eating now, right? <laughs> Very easy. Right? That's true, true. Yeah, I, would, I, would, no, I, would, I would definitely worry about my drinking right now, yeah. uh, and my eating right now. Yeah, that's accurate, but you don't, here's what bothers me about that, is you don't really know to worry about that. Like, I know that I'm worried about it, but no one else knows it, so when people say it out loud, I go, yeah, but you're not watching me. Like, that's the problem with alcoholism. Or wait, let's just do Tom. Let's talk about Tom. <laughs> <laughs> See, I really enjoy being around Bert. Yeah, who truth. doesn't? Yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't anybody? Yeah. I understand that. Yeah, he's he's really a lot Actually, of fun. You know what we should do? We should do uh, the the three couples, right? Yeah, us and our wives, and we should go to a Hollywood Bowl, bowl show on a Sunday. Done. Mike Catherine's here too. Bring him and Bianca too. You guys don't want me. Oh, uh, <laughs> that motherfucker! <laughs> I saw I saw I saw a poster of him in Hollywood the other day. You? It was. Is it? Is it? Is it Mike? Is it? Did they call him Mike Nasty Mike? Oh yeah. Well, it was West Hollywood. Let's be clear. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Psycho Mike. Well, it's Psycho Mike. Psycho Mike. That's it. Psycho Mike. I, I started laughing hysterically <laughs> because you know I'm mentally stable. <laughs> yeah, I was like, he's the most mentally stable person I fucking know. Thank you. Uh, so back to the eating and the drinking. Bert? You're cutting out. I'm losing you. Oh, yeah. Convenient. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Bert. Bert. <laughs> Bert. Dude, I ran that marathon, and it was the worst thing I ever did in my life. Wait. How long do you think the afterburn stays after a marathon where you can eat what you want? <laughs> uh, it's, what is, it's been like four months, so four months about. Dude, I'm at the stage of fuck it. Like, I'm really at the stage of like, I'm like, I'm on a, I'm on a bender. It's fine. I'll just won't eat for two days. You know, Mike and I do a health and fitness podcast now. And uh, he got me on this, essentially a carnivore diet. It's just all meat and eggs. And it's amazing. I kid you not. <laughs> do you eat vegetables? You're, not, you're a doctor. 
doctor. You're a doctor. You're not allowed to do that shit. He's laughing at me. <laughs> Wait a minute. That was, I don't want that. It's a natural yeah. drill. Like, you can't just fucking go, I'm eating, eating meat. That's fucking crazy. No, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. It's not crazy. It's a, it's a, it's a way of losing weight, and it's a, you, it's amazing how good you feel on it. See? <laughs> All right, I'm just eating meat then. Yeah. yeah. Hey, but also, um, like, no, no Tito's, no vodka. Yeah, you have like no vodka and stuff. You can have a little t- oh. vodka. Yeah, I think I might be. I think I might be diabetic. I'm having a problem with my vision lately. Is that oh, diabetes? Oh, dude. Yeah. You, know, you said strict sobriety, though, right? Yeah, so strict sobriety for sure. But, but yeah. I mean, that goes without saying. I mean, he doesn't have a drinking problem, but I think it should be no problem then. Um, <laughs> 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 Did you go back to pot too? Me? Yeah, yeah, I'm back on yeah, everything. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and the, 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 the wheels have come off, Drew, if that's what we're talking about for real. Kind yeah. of what we're talking about. Um, what was what you ask me, Tom? You said ask me. I lost my train. Oh, of I, I just said um, you know we're, we should do the meat and egg thing. Yeah. A little bit of veggies or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. And then just but like water. no, no. I I know what I was thinking. About. I was him with the blurry vision. Are you having thirst and are peeing a lot? Yeah, yeah. That's the primary signs of diabetes. Very, uh, cool. very, very. Th- <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bert! I always wanted, I just, I always wanted to have diabetes. <laughs> Mission accomplished, Bert. You are going to be the best diabetic. You have oh. to keep going with this. <laughs> <He's gonna> have- <laughs> oh my god. I hope this is not true. Dude, get... I hope this is not a joke either. <laughs> you have to get a dozen donuts tomorrow and, and eat them as fast as you can. And then wash it wash it down with, with Tito's. And Alfredo yeah. sauce. Yeah, yeah, Alfredo <laughs> sauce. <laughs> what are we doing here? I, I, I wish I... I uh, my vision's killing me, but I think my wife says it's just getting old. Like, you get old, your vision, you can't see your phone. Is it, so it's clo- close vision is no good, yeah? Yeah, oh yeah, I can see shit. I mean, I can see, like, a car coming my way. Okay. So it's not just <laughs> general, it's not just general <laughs> 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 It's not just general uh, vision. It's now, I mean, yeah, when I'm in the steam room, I see a dude coming to suck my dick. <laughs> I have to see that. <laughs> you... You told me you have like um, a lot of tingling in your in your oh, fingers that and also, toes. That also could be. Hold on, that- hold on, hold on, Tom. We don't share secrets on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I have tingling in my left arm. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. But I also think I have a a shoulder spur. <laughs> well, you might have carpal tunnel from that. That you know, as the weight goes up, carpal tunnel. Okay, really are you being serious? Uh, by, by the way, dead serious. Swear yeah. God, and Tom will never get this. I think I have carpal tunnel from meet and greets. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. I can see that. Like from yeah. shaking hands with people. Yeah, I think yeah. I get tar- carpal tunnel from that. Yeah, mm-hmm. we're see, we're very different people. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not meeting anybody. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 by the way, this is therapy time. Start of, part of me goes, I wonder if I will never be as successful as Tom because he's mysterious. Like, I'm Tom Selleck. Uh, Segura is, uh, is Han Solo. Is, uh, uh, Harrison you know Ford, I mean? yes. No, it's, it's a very like good he's analogy. scary and dangerous, and I'm this accessible guy that goes on Rosie O'Donnell and goes, I own guns. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you now? Uh, Birmingham, Alabama. Not moving tickets at all. How was the show tonight? <laughs> How was the show? It was good. They're all fans, and yeah. so like the second Drew called, they lost their fucking shit. <laughs> they lost their shit, and I ended up doing ten minutes on Drew. Oh no! <laughs> what, did I, what did I do? Well, you remember when I called you when I ruptured my testicle? Oh yes. And I was like, I was like. I was like, Drew's a great friend to have because you can call him. And, and then we ended up morphing that into drinking. And then... Oh, and then Bert. The day, uh, yeah. Bert, your, your, uh, your racist stuff has to kill there, right? You must be killing. <laughs> Dude, when you talk about inequality and how you wish it was... Yeah, 100%. No. <laughs> uh. it's, it's weird because it was all white. It was all white tonight. And the girls, the joke I was... I told Tom this... Uh, in private like the weird thing about stand-up is like Tom and I will talk in private and I'll say something to him that'll make him laugh and then I'll try it on stage and Tom knows this already but we went on a cruise and it was predominantly African American and the girls picked up uh, African American slangs and I mentioned it and I, as soon as I said that we went on a cruise as predominantly African American everyone seized up and I was like they're not in the room we're fine <laughs> oh my god yes and then the thing the girls the 
girls kept calling, oh, we're getting turned this weekend. And I was like, what? And they're like, bye, Felicia. And I'd never heard that phrase. And Tom's like, oh, yeah, that's like a, that's like what you say to a girl when you have a one night stand. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> so Tom's much more African American. Uh, like, that's a quote from Friday, and it's just, I'm done with you. Uh. But done with anybody. I uh. don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But Bert's like, you know, he's 15 years older than me, so it's a little different. You know? <laughs> I, am, I, am, I am barely seven years older than you. <laughs> Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. Way off. I was just going okay, off. Listen, listen, I was listen, going listen, off listen, of photos. Listen, Sorry. Came real quick. Drew, what would you rather be? Ready? What would you rather be? At the peak of your career at 37 or at the peak of your career at 45 <laughs> where you get to retire in a couple of years? <laughs> Drew, where do you want to be? <laughs> <laughs> it's a solid question. It is. It's a good question. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I know that Tom's answer. He'd much rather be where I am where he doesn't have to stay this for 20 years. <laughs> He's right about that. What kids do? Hey, high school. Hey, how are your kids? Uh. Ah. <laughs> oh. No. I mean, no. I think good. I think Isla. I think Isla's gay. Hmm. Well, <laughs> could be worse. That's okay. She's the one. That no, you, no, no, no. She's the it's one you totally talk. Cool. You talk shit about in public all the time, and she doesn't like that. No, she doesn't care. She doesn't know. She's just like She can't read shit. Um. <laughs> she. She's just like you. Yeah, oh, we're identical. We're identical. <laughs> I, th- I think I think I, I think this weekend there's this song called Michael in the Bathroom, which is about this guy who's in love with his best friend and he ends up in a you should listen to it. It's fucking over it's I I listen to it nonstop. And uh and I think like I'm I'm coming to terms with the f- that I say bad shit around my kids and uh and it it's leaking into them cuz she's like What do you say? Yeah. What do you say? Whatever, whatever, bro. I'm drunk. Are we really doing this right now? <laughs> <laughs> this is the best. Keep talking, Bert. Uh, we took it off mic, so he's happy. Yeah, I just, I just you say, you say fucked up shit sometimes. Like, you ever say like uh, something about like Asian drivers, and then all of a sudden your kids are like, "Ah, oh, those fucking Asians," and you're like, oh, "I didn't hear it like that." You know, so, like, you, Tommy, I know your two kids are too young. Alright, all right, let's I got my my phone's cutting out. I gotta I gotta leave. <laughs> <laughs> let me just say, your wife is so nice. Doesn't she straighten you out sometimes? Oh, we're in a huge fucking fight right now. About what? Uh because Leanne was in um Disney with Georgia for the weekend and Isla and I were home alone. And that was the problem. It's uh, Leanne and Isla and I were home alone. Yeah. And so we didn't but I knew the maid was coming this afternoon so I didn't clean the house and the uh, maid cleaned the house and I told Isla I go hey just tell mom we clean the house uh, and the maid was and like the maid didn't show up and then Isla ratted me out and so that's why we're fighting right now well this will be fine at the Hollywood Bowl with all the eight of us <laughs> yeah I can't wait <laughs> yeah it sounds sounds oh, awesome and appealing man such a prude she, you know what you know what she's got a podcast now and so all she'll do is hit up hit up your wife and be like when can I get you on my podcast anytime oh Leanne's a celebrity whore she's ready <laughs> she's ready she's ready to go hey uh hey Bert yeah will Leanne have me on her podcast <laughs> <laughs> no she won't why not because of that fucking ten thousand dollars you volunteered me for <laughs> <laughs> wait is she mad at me uh, hardcore. Really? <laughs> Legit hardcore because I. So this is gonna for be everyone the best listening, hard, I forget the I'm, 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 for everyone listening, I ran the LA Marathon with no training. Something that uh, my friends, let's just collectively call them a box of cunts. <laughs> uh, Joe Rogan, <laughs> Oscar, and Ari Shapiro. Uh, they what? said I couldn't do it without training. I did it without training. I ran it. I drank the night before. I showed up. Ran it in five hours and thirty three minutes, like a fucking beast. It's true. Uh, and then I made a joke about Tom the night before saying that he welts. Because Tom said he could roller skate the marathon faster than I could run it. Yes. And then Tom did not. He was like, in very, very honestly, Tom's like, I'm not roller skating the LA marathon. I'm definitely not going to roller skate any marathon. It's not going to happen. But as a joke, I like started calling him a welch. And then Tom, like a asshole, goes out. He's doing a movie with Marky Mark. I think they're roller skating buddies. I don't know what they're doing in the movie. <laughs> And he does this thing where he's like, hey, Bert said if you can run the LA Marathon and, and complete it, he'll give $10,000 to Children's Hospital. 
And if he can't do it, he'll give $20,000 to oh. his favorite hospital. Who the fuck ever says that out loud? No one would ever say, if I can do this, I'll give $10,000. And if I can't do it, I'll give even more. Who the fuck says that? Your best friend. Yeah. And then it goes viral. And, You're uh, and, and people don't realize it's a joke. So, like, Mary Lynn, Ra- Mary Lynn Rice Cub gives money to Children's Hospital. Steve Renesisi gives money to Children's Hospital. Like, everyone starts giving money to Children's Hospital. It's good. Yeah. And then, and then, and then, and then Ari goes, you never plan on giving money to Children's Hospital? I was like, no, never, never. I was never giving money to them. <laughs> and he starts a campaign called Evil Burt on GoFundMe <laughs> and starts raising money because, and, and everyone's slamming me and Leanne hears about it. And I said to Leanne, I go, look, let's just give $10,000. It doesn't matter. And Leanne's like, no, that's half of Georgia's tuition next year. We're not giving $10,000. And it turned into a fucking nightmare. Well, we'll have to talk about it at the Hollywood Bowl. Let's go out. There's a lot going on in your life now, Bert. It sounds great. I love you guys. I think You're Mike the should, best, Bert. I love you. Go get a burger. Mike should get you fit. I think Mike could get you fit. Mike could get you ripped. You, we could, you I get, could get Bert shredded. We'll, we'll, bring, we'll bring do on a Swole project Patrol? on Swell Patrol. Start out, you know, with... With Bert, a before and after shot, and oh, he did. He went. He did something and like let, this. And let Mike just take him on. It's just Get injections, him injections right into your ass. I'm gonna have your traps coming out your ears. Come on, veins all over your I body. I think it's a great shredded. idea. And then you can kind of tell him what to not drink, and then you can just get him really. We got first of all, we got to deal with this diabetes thing. We're gonna get to get some. Let's get diabetes, some diabetes. Let's diabetes. get some blood work done. Let's get you uh, just on track. How about that, Bert? Hey Drew, I'm mm-hmm. doing a thing for men's health. I'm running a triathlon. Do you want to come in and be my doctor for it? <laughs> where, where would that? Where do I? How does that work? I'll, I'll set it up. It I'm concerns me out. greatly. What if I have to pull you out of it? Wait, what do you mean? I can run marathons, Drew. Triathlon. Oh. But wait, I'm a, Drew, a, uh, an athlete. <laughs> Drew can bring the insulin shots. You'll be fine. <laughs> Oh. <coughs> you're, you're drinking Tom's Kool-Aid right now, you have, Drew. You have to I'm have, an athlete. I got the Mickey Mantle gene. Long strand DNA. I, you know, I get you got you got some sort of... <laughs> I like you. Got the, 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 the Mickey Mantle gene. gene. Alcoholism. <laughs> you got the survivor gene, that's for sure. But, all right, my friend. <laughs> the survivor gene. That's the same thing as Mickey Mantle. I know. And Trump have it. Yes. Yeah, oh, yes. Yes. But, all right, buddy. Well, listen, we'll get back to you. Love you, Bert. We, Bert. we love you greatly, and we'll talk to you soon. Friend. All right, all right, right get the blood work done. <laughs> scared Blood the hell out of me. What's going on? I don't know. It's concerning, though. And you, you scared me with how much he was eating and stuff <laughs> and how big he was getting. I haven't seen him yeah. in a while. And now he's got blur vision and tingling in his hands and stuff. It's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and he's drunk. I know. It's a lot going on. Hey, can I ask you about something that's like in the news? Yeah, Just please. to get your take on this. Yeah. So, obviously, there's been this very public suicides of yeah. well-known people yeah, in the yeah. last week. Yeah. A lot of people are you know, uh, describing these as impulsive, you know, like Maybe. in the media. Yeah. The media, the media saying, is completely misreporting the whole thing. Just, you know. R- right. Okay. Well, that'd be interesting to, yeah, to discuss. So. But uh, yeah. Well, but also start. like, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, okay. Go ahead with the media. Well, I was just going to say like Anthony Bourdain is a heroin addict who's been drinking out of control for a while. Yeah. That's somebody whose life is in danger the whole time. I saw him. I, I went around with him 15 years ago. We had to do, we were on doing a, up fronts for discovery mm-hmm. and I was he was you know he was regaling me with this story about heroin and cocaine and then he's drinking I'm like dude you can't you cannot do that it, you will die eventually something will happen you'll get depressed you go back to the heroin you get on pills you'll you'll get depressed something will happen here we are yeah I'd lo- I, I would be I don't know I, I, it sounds a bit morbid but I would say I, I, I was thinking maybe I'd be interested to see a toxicology report. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's, coming. it's definitely coming. Yeah, that's yeah. coming. And, and when I heard Kate Spade, too, I thought, oh, does she drink? Is there something else going on there, too? And why didn't she get treatment? And why was she withholding? There's more. It's not just one thing depression, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's just not one thing suicide. These are complicated cases. Is it common or or not that, you know, a lot of times somebody, you, you somebody, this happens, you know, someone commits suicide, and there'll be this, you know, long history of, well, well-known depression Mm -hmm. or people that were close will say oh i wish i would have reached out because there were signs yes does it happen um commonly that somebody would commit suicide 
um, just impulsively without warning? They, they yes, it does happen. They, they, and, and hanging is a common sort of feature of that. They'll they'll sort of get they'll be overcome with pain and this sort of thinking that the world is better off without them. The kids are better off without them, and they just can't get out of that thought. They can't imagine anything anything else, and they'll do something sort of impulsive. Usually, leave a note. Usually even out. So that that's sort of Which like she did. She did. He, he did. He so did. It's, uh, what's that all about? It's more of the story there. Um, you, the, you know, a, a, to me, sort of a story of although addiction figured into it, but a but a depression with suicidality story is Chester. Chester that was Bennington. the worst man. That was the worst. That was bad. That that is the story of depression. And, and whether or not it's residual from all the drugs he did or whatever. Well, I mean, but that that also that didn't come without science. I mean, he would talk about it yes, on Love Line. All the time. I can't even imagine what he would talk say about suicide, suicide. Oh, suicide really? yeah. about and, and about how, how how much he struggled and yeah. and how it, uh, how it didn't seem to have any reflection on how successful Lincoln Park got he, and how well his family life was. It, it just seemed like there was just a weight on, on him, yeah. and he was very open about it. And that was why that suicide that that. Of the public suicides, that one hit me. The whole I hour. totally I agree with you. Up. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. That, that's the one that is really about mm. the depression. Really? Yeah, full on. But Anthony had a dark side, right? He, he, he did, and, and, he, and, he, like and he'd had suicidality uh, for years, for a long time. How do you know? I've heard that. Oh, really? And, but and but that's the heroin addicts. Watch the series Patrick Melrose on Showtime. It's a great exploration of heroin switching to alcohol. Great exploration of that. It's it's called Patrick Melrose. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch, yeah. yeah. And so it's a guy who's a heroine. It's a really good you know, sort of story about that. Be- best best scripted story I've ever seen on, on this Mad Men. Mad that, Men's that's the pure best. alcoholism. Oh, pure yeah. alcoholism. I was, this, this I, I was just talking about the disease yeah. itself. Yeah, Mad yeah. Men was the best. Idea. He had a great experience with Mad Men. Tell Tom. Oh, really? I was watching Mad Men... Uh, maybe five, six years ago, and it was right. It was on a Sunday night. I was getting ready to go to Love Line. I'm watching Mad Men. I'm all, all into it. And there was a scene where Don had just dis- uh, just decided that he might have a serious problem with drinking, and he was gonna he was gonna quit. Mm-hmm. You know, at least for today, I'm not gonna drink at the office. And he goes in. He's sitting in a meeting, and all the other his business colleagues are drinking. And he looks over at one of uh, his colleagues clinking the, the the ice around in a highball glass mm-hmm. and he just stares at it and he's kind of getting fidgety and anxious and i just projectile vomited all over my living room i just out of i didn't feel it coming i didn't <laughs> and just puked up all over my living room it's so Whoa. intense yeah it was such a visceral reaction i couldn't believe it and I, I it was it sounds so corny but I, I didn't feel it coming it just was kind of like my body reacting before my brain could even think about it wow it was crazy God, can we bring up that clip? I wish I had it. I wish I had it filmed, like on some closed circuit camera. No, that is amazing. That that it's that yeah. deep. I know. Yeah. Rooted in you. That's right. And I remember the scene too, because we both had commented or something, or we had some conversation about how John Hamm clearly understood it too, because mm-hmm. the way he acted it, we didn't know. We, he's an alcoholic, right? Well, I yeah, I just we're hearing. He's he's had some struggles. Yeah. My son Jordan, oh. Tom Segura. He wants hey. to meet you. How's it going? It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> so he's the one that got me into you. Oh, really? I mean, sorry, I think so. You guys were founded before I did, you? Yeah, I, I saw you at the Largo one time. Oh, man. <laughs> Which time? <laughs> yeah. Get a microphone. Yeah, Here, give me a mic. Maybe about like half a year ago. Oh, really? Yeah, like around January time. Okay. I remember you had this one really funny joke about raising a kid being similar to being a guard at Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What? Yeah. What's the joke? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the Guantanamo. No, I can't give out. I can't give away that one. I'm touring with it right oh. now. Oh. <laughs> don't, don't. Oh. Yeah, it's the oh. gold, buddy. Yeah. Well, it's it stuck, right? Yeah, no, Good thank one. you, thank you. No, so you saw me earlier this year. Yeah. Okay. I think I remember that show. Some bad things happened during that show. <laughs> <laughs> Did somebody? Too bad. No. No, nothing. No one stood up and made like a big scene. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> what happened? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say something bad? I guess. What did you do, Tom? No, it was. I mean, you know, it was just. It was. Um, it was. Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> All right, forget it. Yeah, I'll tell you later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God, Jordan, thanks for bringing that up. No, it's <laughs> great. I'm glad you brought it up. <laughs> so, all right, now we've had we had Bert Kreischer during the mid Bert. We had Bert on the phone. Oh yeah, he, he was, was eating. Don't worry, he was eating and drinking <laughs> and drinking, eating yeah. and drinking, and and, uh, and getting tingling. And tingling his feet. He's, 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 he's starting to scare me. Well, right before uh, before before. Uh, you started talking about the depression angle yeah. and, and the media. Yeah. Um, oh, you had, a, you had a question. You had, had a question. You, question you were building to something in the depression suicide. Well, um, 
yeah the you know just the i guess the impulsive nature of that happening seems you know it's pretty striking that it would just happen like that um the other thing was just oh with uh, with regard to i mean as an addiction specialist when is it ever i mean i i feel like i already know your answer but the idea that somebody could kick one of the hardcore drugs and maintain with a you know a lesser drug no that's that's never okay. that never that was a Bourdain story. Yeah, and that then, is his story. Right? And, and, and I knew he was in danger the whole time. His life's in danger as that goes along. What if? Does that make Mike? Am I stating that? Absolutely. Act? If you're if you're an addict, for sure. Yeah. yeah. But if you're not an if, addict, what if you become dependent? That's different. On it, on a uh, drug, an yeah. opiate uh, in particular, yeah. and you and you act like I mean, you're daily using it, abusing it, blah blah blah. You get off that. Yes. There there are people that are sort of not. Addicts in the way that like yeah. Mike and I think about addict, they get getting strung out these days because of the over prescribing, yeah. and they can come off and they can be sort of okay. They can kind of use stuff. Not you by the time you're shooting stuff. No, no, yeah, yeah, that's a different thing, dude. What's it like when you're hanging out and someone busts out a joint or like <laughs> dime bag or <laughs> fucking eight ball? <laughs> and you're just like you, you see your dad being like, <laughs> it's like all the years of him just going. Don't do drugs. <laughs> really? Do you it's see like him in your head? The devil and the angel. And, yeah, you know? it's, it's Tom Segura on one shoulder and then me on the other. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be. It's got to be crazy. It's got to be like being, like, hooking up with a girl and your dad's Rocco Sofredi and you're just, like, picturing him. Just, just no, not a good reference. Just tackling love. Uh, yeah. I think I'm the only one in the room who knows who Rocco Sofredi is. So. You know. yeah. Have you not seen his series? You should watch that. Not yeah. series. There's a documentary. Have you seen the documentary? I have. Fucking, it's, it leaves an impact What's on it me. called? I think it's called Rocco. Rocco. Yeah. Yeah. So Rocco is like the basically this Italian porn star, super famous in that world and especially in Europe. And he's done like, I mean, he's like he's over fifty and he's still <laughs> crushing. Just, I mean, just really the kind of guy you'd like to shake his hand. You know, he's a really an impressive person, and he's doing, I mean, he's doing beyond hardcore stuff. Next time and he's I'm married with kids. <laughs> And it's they, particularly like demeaning to women, you know, like in the scenes rough, and stuff. Yeah, very rough. He has a thick Italian accent. Next time we're on your mom's house, let's pull, let's break that stuff out. Oh my God, that would. <laughs> can That's we? Can, can you? Will you watch it? But right before you come on, so that you uh, can. Sure. Well, you can play it for me there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a it's a good documentary. I agree. Oh, watch the documentary. documentary. Oh, oh, I watch doc- I thought it's you both, doc- I thought you had highlights you wanted. No, to no, no. I want you to watch the documentary. Okay, I will. <laughs> no, I, I want a compilation of just. <laughs> well, no, they usually they save. They have things that. I understand. Disturb I know. Me. I want. I want his money shot compilations. <laughs> Because it actually, I the, actually felt tremendous sadness watching that documentary. I, un- I and, and this is not to pass judgment because there's I've met a lot of very nice people in the adult industry, but almost any time I watch any documentary revolving around the adult industry, I get tremendous sadness. Yeah, when you treat them and they come out of the other side, you get appreciation for what's really going on. It's, really? Not, it's not good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, he there was one part of the documentary where he said, um, you know, when his mother died he went to visit her best friend and she was like an 80 year old woman. And he's like, I was just so overwhelmed with sexual arousal. I was just crying profusely, but I just pulled my penis out and put it in her mouth and ejaculated immediately. What? Yeah. 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 It's it's hilarious. It's a great, it's it's a really (laughs) funny. It's hilarious. (laughs) It's hilarious, Tom. No, there's just funny stuff throughout. So I'm just giving you a highlight. No, it's, it's, no, it's, 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 it's disturbing. But it also, like I said, with his accent too, it makes it funny. Like yeah. it's, it's just so it's more this than is like this is very this this is where you and I diverge. Yeah, you you get humor and enjoyment out of that. It's the same with the videos you show me. Yeah, I just see like no, sick I, and dead people. I'm joking when I say that it, I did uh, not find it. Humorous. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, it was. And then he laughed his ass off. I laughed, okay, that, yes, that's I definitely laughed, not funny. I laughed <laughs> later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Jordan liked it. <laughs> <laughs> he liked it because Tom liked it. All right, so we're going to wrap this thing up. Yeah, right. it's been fun. Tom, thank you for doing this, and mm. uh, really a privilege. And, Thanks uh, for having me. Thank you for... Pleasure to meet let's, you, let's let's do, let's, Nice to meet you, too. Let's do do what uh, Bert suggests. Let's all go out, four of us, eight of us. And Chardonnay at the Hollywood Bowl. Whatever it is, figure it out and do something. Let's do It'll it up. Fun. Yeah. Maybe um, we'll dial back the drinking for Bert a little bit. Yeah, Mike just has to... Mike's abstinent, so it's good. Oh, but yes. I'm just thinking, <laughs> Christina's going to have a baby in about four weeks, so uh, yeah. you better either hurry up or, yeah, or put it wait off. about six months, yeah. one or the other. <laughs> Good point. But uh, Mike, somebody's phone is. I, I don't know what my phone is doing. I'm sorry. I apologize. That was very right, unprofessional. Guys, thank you guys. Uh, um, do I have any business to take care of, Susan, before we sign out here? The outro, the outro isn't show, here. Show us, show us your dong. Show us your dong. Come on. Let me just Let's say. Let's a little peek. 
So, uh, yeah. Let me just. Are we gonna do? We're gonna play a little something, something. Did you inherit yeah. that, Jordan? Did yeah. you yeah. Uh, Did it skip a generation? Oh, those kind no. of questions are it, sitting next to my mom. mom. It's weird. <laughs> weird, man. I, well, Douglas <laughs> told me he did. Hey, true niagen. <laughs> hey, true niagen. The, true niagen. The, the NAD stuff. NAD talk stuff about is that. real. Talk about it. I just it, it helps you on a cellular level, Doctor Drew. You can talk more about the science of it. Yeah. But there is ample and conclusive scientific proof that this stuff can help you uh, in a tremendous way. You and true niagen is a is an exceptional yeah, product. It's good for neuropathy. It's it's good for alcohol, fat, not alcoholic fatty liver disease and recovery, recovery of those liver uh, hepatocytes. Uh, a lot of really good stuff. I'm going to start taking it. I'm on it. And, and uh, I've got some other patients that want to put on it, too, because it can reverse neuropathy. Maybe good for aging. We don't know. I'm hoping. No, yes. neuropathy issues if you, his brother smoked meth and jerked off in four that strokes. Guy? Four strokes? Yes, yes that so guy. He four, take strokes? four strokes. Four true, strokes. Four strokes. It would be good for four strokes, brother. True for, nigen. True nigen. Let's hear about oh, wow. it. <laughs> All right, that's about it for this episode of This Life. Check us out at KBC, B and uh, Lawrence Vaughn, 790 Midday Live Talk Radio, Monday to Friday. You can also tune in every day live via the magic of the Internet at kbc.com. If you miss it, we've made it simple for you to find all the shows at drdrew.com, the Adam and Dr. Drew podcast, the Sync What I Do By Myself, the Dr. Drew podcast, This Life, of course, with Bob Swole Patrol, Mike Cantho, and his new health and fitness podcast. You can uh, find us on Twitter at This Life Podcast, at Dr. Drew, Dairy W, at Rehab Bob Forrest, and of course, our lovely producer at First Lady of Love. I think I know who that is. If you love this show, please subscribe and tell a friend. We appreciate it when you do. We'd love to hear your feedback as well. Send us a message. Join the email list at drdrw.com, drdrw.com slash contact. You'll also get a weekly uh, email from us on that. Uh, while you're at it, at drdrw.com, please support our sponsors by clicking through the banners. We only advertise products that I can get behind. So thank you for supporting them, those that support us. And thank you for listening. We'll see you next time.